our group's concerned with understanding the neurological manifestations of Zika virus, as we all clearly recognize the remarkable thing about Zika, which distinguishes it from other arboviruses, is this extraordinary propensity to affect the nervous system. And there are really two ways in which it does that. One is through direct infection to produce the manifestations like microcephaly and uh, some of the adult and pediatric manifestations as well, encephalitis, myelitis. And the second area is the autoimmune manifestations of Zika virus, which are very prominent indeed and quite remarkable, the most notable of which is Guillain-Barre syndrome. So we're aiming to dissect these at a laboratory level, understanding the molecular pathogenesis of brain infection, why the virus infects brain cells, how it does that, how it affects survival and development of brain cells in different kinds of model systems. And the second area we're addressing through fundamental immunological studies. The immunological studies are very much geared around Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a major complication of, of Zika virus. It occurs in approximately one in four or 5,000 cases, which might not sound very frequent, but when you add up the totality of uh, Zika-infected populations, this does potentially amount to many, many thousands of cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome. And this is, of course, a, you know, a huge health burden to the uh, hospital communities and healthcare providers in which, these, uh, in which this uh, group of cases arises. So we really need to understand the biological basis for this.